Welcome to the CTB News Channel. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the hottest news of the day. Our newsletter today includes the following. 6 Prince Harry book claims cause uncertainty, one is false. Prince Harry attacks Kate Middleton in his book Spare, but some of his assertions are being questioned. Some of Prince Harry's statements in his highly anticipated biography have left readers confused. The Queen famously noted, recollections may differ during Harry and Meghan. Markle's Oprah interview. And Spare may be another example. Several of his statements in the 407-page book are being questioned by readers, royal specialists, and others who were present. From claims his stepmother leaked details about their initial meetings to erroneous dates, we examine some of the charges. Camilla released to media, Harry accuses Camilla of leaking facts about her first encounter with Prince William. He thinks William wouldn't have disclosed these facts, so Camilla did, royal sources deny that. The Queen Consort leaked the material. The Telegraph reports that Camilla told a 1998 aide about the meeting, this aide's husband apparently notified a co-worker, who told a newspaper, Camilla was reportedly upset when the employee apologized and quit, I apologize that my chance words led to the press revealing Mrs. Parker Bowles and Prince William's private encounter, the assistant said, I'm sorry for your sorrow. My biggest regret is failing people who require loyalty and trust, especially Mrs. Parker Bowles, I'm sad to go. But as the person responsible for this series of events, I can't stay, Princess Diana's death, in his book, the Duke of Sussex recalls learning of the Queen Mother's death in 2002, the 38-year-old described the bright and pleasant weather at Eton when he got the phone call, the 17-year-old prince was reportedly skiing in Switzerland with his father and sibling at the time. The king said he meant to return to the UK as soon as possible, and Harry returned a day later, Harry writes in. Spare. At Eton. I took a call. I think a courtier's voice was on the other end, just before Easter, the weather was bright and pleasant, and my window was flooded with beautiful colors. Queen Mother has died, in 2002, Buckingham Palace said, the Queen has ordered for the following notification to be made immediately, her mother, Queen Elizabeth, died peacefully today, later that day, the then Prince of Wales's spokesman said, Charles is distraught. His sole wish is to get home. William and Harry were skiing in Closters when the 101-year-old died in her sleep. According to BBC News, this is a big blunder in a controversial book, said royal critic Richard Fitzwilliams, Harry's incorrect memory of where he was when the Queen Mother died raises questions about how well this novel was fact-checked, I wonder how many factual inaccuracies it contains, Harry's 13th birthday was on September 15, 1997, only weeks after Princess Diana's death, during a party. He was invited to make a wish and was thinking of Diana when his Aunt Sarah entered with a package. He tore open the package and spotted an Xbox. Harry's Aunt Sarah told him that Diana got him a gaming system in Paris before she died. Harry enjoyed video games and was overjoyed by the present. In Spare, he writes, that's the narrative. It's in many of my life tales as gospel, but I don't know if it's accurate. Pa stated mummy's head ached, but maybe I did. As a defense strategy, my memory stopped recording as well, Harry may be puzzled, given the Xbox wasn't released until 2004. Microsoft's Xbox was released in 2001, competing with Sony's PlayStation 2 and Nintendo's GameCube, fans with good memories will question the page where Harry mentions Meghan's first date outfit at Soho House, Harry claims she wore a black hoodie, trousers, and heels when they first met. While he knows nothing about fashion, he later admits he usually shops at TK Maxx, he claims she looked chic, at their first meeting, he calls her heart attack lovely, for her no frills style. Meghan said she wore a blue outfit during their first encounter, Meghan stated she had a thread from her Givenchy wedding dress stitched onto her veil as her something blue, first seeing the dress since her wedding, she commented, my gosh, isn't it amazing, she inspects her veil and asks, did you see? The stitched in blue fabric. Something blue. It's from the first date dress. The return is welcome. Beautiful, Harry remembers Meghan wearing a blue dress on their second date. So he may have been confused, she donned a blue sundress with white pinstripes to Soho House, he writes. Romantically, he says she was a glow. Harry meets Camilla early in the novel, later, he says that he begged his father not to marry her, saying it would generate controversy. During the couple's wedding in April 2005, he knew without a doubt that Pa would leave us and had conflicting feelings. Grant Harold, a former royal butler, says he observed an excited Harry during Charles and Camilla's wedding. I attended the wedding and engagement, he told Spin Genie. 
From my perspective, because I wasn't there every second, they all got along when I was there. Harry and William supported and attended their father's wedding, I saw William and Harry dashing after the wedding automobiles with cans. Poor Coy. You wouldn't walk outdoors if you were against it, Harry tells about his grandmother's death in Balmoral in the book's epilogue, as William and Meghan were in the UK at the time. He hastened to be with his grandmother in her dying moments, but after flying a private aircraft to school, he and other royal family arrived too late, in spare, Harry claims as his jet prepared to descend, Meghan texted him to call her, prompting him to check the BBC website and find, Granny was gone. King Pa, royal insiders have said Harry knew of the Queen's death before an official declaration, the King was keen that all family members be notified before releasing the official announcement. Said a source. That's a kind father speaking, Harry also reveals never before heard information regarding William and Kate's wedding, Kate wore a gorgeous Alexander McQueen wedding dress at their April 29, 2011 wedding, William donned the red Irish guards uniform at the late Queen's request, notwithstanding Harry's desire to wear his household cavalry frock coat, in spare, Harry writes, Willie was unhappy about having so little influence in what he wore to his wedding, about having his autonomy snatched. From him. He'd expressed frustration countless times, biographer Robert Hardman writes in the Daily Mail that when he spoke to William after his wedding, he wasn't sad about his outfit, when I interviewed Prince William about his wedding for my book, Our Queen, he had warm memories of the Queen's insistence on his choice of attire. He laughed a lot, share, or comment on this story. Thank for watching.